This is Beyond the Big Screen Podcast with your host, Steve Guerra. Here is another Beyond the Big Screen teaser for episodes coming soon. I hope you enjoy and definitely tune in for the full episodes. If you want to learn more, you can head over to beyondthebigscreen.com. You can support Beyond the Big Screen on Patreon and Subscribestar. By joining on Patreon and or Subscribestar, you can help keep Beyond the Big Screen going and get many great benefits. Benefits include advertisement-free content, bonus content, and early access. The bonus content is great, too. I will feature outtakes from episodes and live streaming episodes. If you join at the executive producer level, you will become just that, an executive producer of Beyond the Big Screen. You will be able to develop ideas for upcoming episodes, help find great guests, and of course have your name mentioned at the beginning or end of each episode. You won't just be a Supporter, you will be a critical member of the team. Go over to patreon.com forward slash beyond the big screen or subscribestar.com forward slash beyond the big screen to learn more. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, send me an email to my email address, Steve at A2ZHistoryPage.com, or follow us on social media by searching for A2Z History. I will see you next time beyond the big screen. Yeah, I think that in so many of the, I think that they nailed that in that the the actual RoboCop working was not important. And it's kind of like today with like Tesla, the selling of the solar panels is not how they make their money of you know the kind of like the good old american dream you get up and you start a solar panel company and you get good at it and you sell solar panels it's we're going to make solar panels so that we can get some subsidy for it and then we'll you know make some money on arbitrage of this part and then we'll sell uh sell loans to buy back through the power company like all these different things that the the solar panel turns out to almost be like a uh an afterthought of to just tie together all these different angles and it's i think it's a hard way for people to as you know i have a hard time thinking of it that there's so many things built into they're not just building a product to sell to you to they make money we have a product there's so much other things built into it people talk about like the gilded age or what have you but if you look at like like the old, like they just, they call them like the robber barons or what have you. Like they were producing stuff well and it worked well. Right. And he's not bad. He's not corrupt in any way. Like he's, he's the opposite of corrupt, right? He is the law. Like, the thing is, the thing is, when he says "I am the law," that that statement, like the more you learn about dread, the more that is true. He only cares about enforcing the law. And so, for example, if someone is innocent, or if he does not believe they are, or he does not have evidence that they are guilty, he will not dispense justice on them. He tries to save the innocent, right? Like at the early on, when this person, when this guy has this woman hostage, right? He waits for an opportunity to shoot him, but he's 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 not going to let that guy get away. So he's willing to put this woman that's held hostage at risk, but he's not willing to shoot through her, right? Because he will not be the one who kills her. He will let people be put at risk in order to do his job. Like he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, like when he's in peach trees, like he knows that mama is just like mowing down innocent people. And that's not going to stop him because it's not him doing it. Right. Um, And so again, it's this ruthlessness to go dispense justice which he believes is for the good, right? It's to save the people of Petries, all this stuff. And you, and, and you start to see the flaws in his, in his understanding of humanity come out more and more and more. And, and I think the most, lo- like, I think at the end, every time I watch this movie at the end, I love him. And the reason I love him in this iteration 
is because he's he's learned to break the rules sometimes. 